Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Another gorgeous day here in California. We are spoiled. Thank you so much for joining me. Handsome hubby is heating up a cup of coffee <laughs> in the microwave. Uh, gotta love small houses. Um, I dragged out the board book that I had started months and months ago, and I am remaking it. Uh, it has already been rebound and the pages were already glued together, so uh, I think there's another video that tells you how to do that. Um, so anyway, lots of fun stuff. Please stay till the end of the video because there's a little something something there. Lynn, thank you for your generous donation. Dina Dana, thank you for the box of goodies, two boxes of goodies actually. And I have sent out boxes of goodies to some people that have requested them. So that's uh, always yummy to purge in my studio and pass the goodies along. All right, enough from me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your orders, uh, hanging in there with Amazon, and, uh, and your gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, see you on the table. Here's our project for today. Uh, lots going on in the background. Uh, lots going on in the front ground. This is uh, my board book. I am going to go through this and work page by page. This is actually a hole in the page with mica over the top. I used Distress Oxides, scrapbook paper, um, white paint pen, some doodles, um, Stabilo of course. Lots of fun stuff going on in the background. Good morning. This is a board book that I started a while back in a class uh, with Lindy Trenholm, which was very, very fun. I have abandoned this book, uh, I <laughs> and I'm kind of avoiding it like the plague. Even, even vacuuming the house is sounding good. So I'm going to start by covering all of this up with underpants and starting over. I think some of the elements on the page are yummy, so I am not covering everything up. I'm picking and choosing. These strings are fun. This ticket is fun. This paper is fun. The cloth is fun. I don't know what we'll do about the the. We shall see. Underpants on the front. So as I'm covering these and keeping some of the details still showing, uh, this is a uh, Nick Bantock face, so I'm just uh, underpantsing around the face. But I added, this is from a, a folder, like from a file chest, and then this is a piece of uh, like an index card or something like that. Here's another one. I'll add these uh, to the pages. I will glue them on and then underpants over them as I go forward. Here's a tag. I'll have that hang off the, the page just so that there's a little bit of fun stuff hanging off the side of the book. I usually tear off this blank edge, but I'm leaving it on. It's such a gorgeous color. Bring some gesso in. Paint the page with the gesso. Place some plastic wrap on there. Next page. I don't want to cover his face. Fold that over and continue doing that through the pages. So gesso, plastic wrap, gesso on the other page, and then close them together. Now 
and so on through the book. I'm not going to do the front or the back yet, so all the inner pages have gesso and plastic wrap. And I'm going to leave that for a little while and then I'll pull the plastic out and hopefully we'll have some delicious texture. Alright, I had my rice bag holding everything down. Take the plastic wrap off. Beautiful texture. And I'm just going to prop the book open and let it dry. Good morning. Dark o'clock. Coffee in hand. I'll do yoga in a few minutes. I'm excited to get started here. Got some beautiful texture on these pages. Going to enjoy playing on those. I'm going to start off with this page. This is a Nick Bantock. Uh, face. I've altered it a little bit. He's pretty precise about not using his stuff, so this page <laughs> will not be for sale. So I'm bringing in the Distress Oxides this morning. I'm not uh, completely comfortable with these, so we're going to play with these together. And I'm just going to bring some in and start blending it. around the page. It's gorgeous. This is fossilized amber. Bring in twisted citron. And seedless preserves. I am using a different uh, pad for each color. Bringing the fossilized amber back in. This is a beautiful beginning to a background. I did a little test here with some alcohol and it does uh, move the ink. So I'm just going to splatter the page with some 91% alcohol and it does move the distress oxide. Oh yes it does. It's gorgeous. We will let that dry. Bring in my black gesso and a credit card. some markings. I sprayed some of the blue acrylic on my workspace and I am adding a few little goodies here and there with my toilet paper roll. Let that dry. Bring in a stencil and some of the green gold and a sponge brush. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, we're coming to life. I'm going to take my leftover paint and just smush it on this page as to not waste it. White acrylic paint. Turn the stencil sideways. Using the same brush so I'll still have a little bit of green in there. I'm okay with that. Beautiful. Dilute some purple paint. I have a spool <laughs> within my reach, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna use that. And I'm gonna incur 
encourage those to drip down. I sopped up the paint with a paper towel and just added it to that next page. And, <laughs> and I did this. Once everything is dry enough, or close to dry enough, I'm going to bring in my sanding block and bring the texture back up. All right, I've sanded it, dusted off, bring back in my fossilized amber and seedless preserves. Twisted Citron. And now that we know what the alcohol does, let's put some drips on there. And we'll let that dry. I'm bringing in a piece of mica. You can cut this with scissors. It's a mineral. I love it. I'm going to bring my crocodile in and pop a hole right there or close to there through the mica and through the page. Install an eyelet. Then I'll go over to this corner and pop a hole and install an eyelet and then the other two corners. That kind of keeps it from buckling. If you do corner to corner, corner to corner, sometimes if you go this way the mica will buckle. So I'm going to go diagonal. Bringing in a Sharpie fine point white with my left hand. And we'll let that dry. Bring in my crackle stamp. Add some crackles to the background. The pages are very uneven, so it doesn't crackle evenly. That's okay. I'm okay with that. More and more delicious all the time. I decided to bring in some scrapbook paper, make his body with some scrapbook paper. All right, the background is done. I've left the face. I have some cutout pieces here I'm going to play with. This is scrapbook paper. Just fun little cutouts. Embellish him.
So I have some fun embellishments on him. I'm going to just go around him with the Stabilo and darken the edges. I'll go around the image, around the little pieces that I put on, and around the edge of the piece. Bring in the compressed uh, white chalk. Play a little bit with that. Doodle a little bit, just to be playful. So here's our piece for today. I did use the Distress Oxides in the background. Uh, I am not crazy about them. So if you are interested in me gifting the Distress Oxides to you, leave a comment that says Distress Oxides and I will pick someone uh, from the list and I will send you my Distress Oxides. So, all right, your turn. Go create, go play, Go have fun.